What's up guys, Stevie J is here and in this video we're gonna talk about high jump. We're gonna discuss two jumps of Bashrim. He is one of the best high jumpers at the moment in the world um, with a personal best in the mid 240s. So super, super successful high jumper. And uh, yeah, we're gonna analyze two jumps of him. I'm gonna tell you what is important in high jumping, what makes him so successful and why he jumps as high. And uh, yeah, let's hop into the video. All right, guys, both jumps gonna be over the same height. It's gonna be a height of 237. And um, we got two different jumps. In the first jump, he won't clear it. And in the second jump, he's gonna clear the height. And we're gonna compare both jumps of it. I'm gonna explain in both jumps technical aspects. And uh, yeah, also gonna explain why he made it at the end and why the second jump was more successful, um, like clearing the bar um, instead of the first one where he missed it. So. Let's watch through it first, and then we're gonna talk about the technical aspects. Then came another miss at two meters 37. Oh, that was right. close. So let's watch through it again. And um, what I immediately recognize, and I don't know if you guys see it as well, he is super tall, like he's running, very, he starts off very, very bouncy and very tall. Just hopping, bouncing into the approach with some smaller, like um, intro introducing steps just to um, gain a little bit of speed before he's starting his approach. And then he bounces into it, very light footed, very nice. His view is always directed on the bar. As you can guys can see here, this view is directed directly to the bar. And um, yeah, continuing to run very tall with big and confident steps. Here he is running into the curve. He starts to lean in and now he is starting to gain the momentum last, the last steps very fast and very active. And now we're gonna stop in the, in the jumping position and I wanna explain to you guys a little bit what is going on here. Do you guys, see the leaning into the left side that's the reason why he's jumping that high because he leans away from the bar and when he's taking off you guys gonna see that he is not jumping into the bar he's jumping vertically and now all of the energy is going to become into the rotation power which is gonna like rotate him over the bar there's um, a nice video. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the video right now. I wanted to show it to you and cut it into the video, but I couldn't find it. So the video was about, there was a high jump, um, a high jump pit with a bar and they just had a stick like, like this boom. Okay. And they threw it in an ankle, how you are supposed to jump. Like imagine here is the bar and your body is bending in this position, right? So they threw it in this position. So what's gonna happen? You throw it to the ground and the, the brush or the stick is gonna just rotate over the bar, just to see it again. You throw it on the ground like this ankle and it's gonna just rotate over your arm. This is exactly, but really exactly what's happening in high jump and why Bashmarim is jumping so nicely. He doesn't wait as much, he's light, he's light footed and he's bending a lot away from the bar. So that gives him just the physical um, the physical odds to just clear bars. But yeah, let's continue with the video. About that, um, it's actually a physical aspect. Like it's, it's not necessarily about strength uh, in high jump. It's more about executing the right technique and setting the body up to be in the right position before the takeoff. That's, that's the most important part. You wanna lean away from the bar and you wanna have last active steps. Also very important. When the takeoff comes, you want to swing your arms. He is jumping with a double arm swing. You can also jump with a single arm swing. That would be in this case, just that arm, um, but he's doing a double arm swing. Um, yeah, and then he's jumping vertically up and clearing the bar pretty high, like pretty clearly as you guys can see, but then he's touching it probably with his hamstrings it doesn't seem like it's his foot, um, but yeah, touching with the hamstrings. All right, why didn't he clear it? Um, we're gonna see it in the second jump. 
Let's watch over this jump. Alright. I know it's hard to see a difference right there, but you guys are gonna see that the jumping position is much better. When he's setting up the last the last step, do you guys see how much momentum he is creating in the last step? A very fast and active last step, as well as a very nice body position. You can't really see it in this video, but look, this is the takeoff position, and this is already a much better position that we have seen in the jump before. The right leg just swings through, and he's taking off. And do you see how how high he's clearing that bar? That's a very very nice jump. All right. So what makes him jump as high? So what, what, what are technical aspects that you need to consider? All right, so what I was talking about already is like you have to bounce into the, in the approach. That should be like for every high jumper, it doesn't matter if you're a multi or if you're a high jumper, if you're a beginner or professional, you should bounce into the, into the approach and you should gain um, the momentum like constantly, like linearly. So um, on a linear basis. So you want to start slowly and bouncy and then you want to become faster. And at the end, at when your last step, when your plant acts, then you want to be the fastest. And then you try to transform all of this energy, this, this speed into height. So how do you do it? You come into it, as we already said, the last three steps need to be active. It needs to be pop, 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 and then you take off. Let's do what, what he's doing here. This is the last step. What is happening now? Okay, you have the leaning away from the bar and you want to jump up. You don't want to jump into the bar. Never, never ever. You don't want to do it in pole void. You don't want to do it in high jump. You never want to jump into the bar. Always stay away. The longer you can stay away, the higher you will jump. All right, but what is he doing now? So why, why, why is it catapulting him so high? First of all, because his leaning is super super like far away from the bar so he leans a lot into the left side another key factor is his speed the speed his approach like when we can jump through the whole um, jump again you guys see that his speed is actually pretty fast and when you transform this energy into height then you're jumping height when you have so much speed into the approach and you transform it into height it's not as easy of course otherwise more people would do it but he does it really really well all right what else comes his right leg is just coming up very aggressively and very quickly however as you guys can see do you see that his knee is pointing in this direction why because he wants to jump away from the bar that's the point of it you as i said you always want to jump away from the bar so if you jump your knee must be directed away from the bar as well and here you see that where the knee is What's gonna happen if you put the knee inside of this direction? You create the rotation you need to come over the bar. Exactly this is it. It's the leaning away from the bar and bringing the, the leg, um, the I, I don't know how it's called, the leg that comes up. It's not the planting leg, it's the other leg. Um, you wanna like swing it up shortly. It's, it's not a long leg. Um, it's as you guys can see it here. He is not bringing it like like a swing and pole void It's a short and active leg, but away from the bar and this as I said already this um, This rotation away from the bar is creating the wood or the rotation of the knee away from the bar is rotation as creating the rotation over the over the bar so that you just fall over basically Yeah yeah, that's everything about the analysis today about um, Bashwim's jumps. And if you guys have any feedback, let it let me know in the comments. Um, if you guys like the video, don't hesitate to click the like button for the algorithm and YouTube that more people can see the videos and that more people um, yeah, can work on their techniques and getting better in, in track and field and in their high jump techniques. So, all right guys, if in the next video, it's gonna be a super interesting video as well for everybody who doesn't really know what to do in their approaches and uh, how to really approach their jump. Like when you're actually standing on your mark and you're just about to jump, um, what are you supposed to think? What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to do anything before? Or is there maybe something that might help you? That's something we're gonna talk about in the next video. And uh, yeah, stay safe guys. And we see, uh, we see each other in the next video. Bye bye.